It's a corner kick to Arsenal. Saka left footed, steered in towards the near post. He's found a way through and found a way in from Gabriel. Arsenal lead at Stamford Bridge. It may have gone directly in from the corner from Bakayo Saka. All 10 Arsenal outfield players run to the corner to celebrate with their fans. They're in front. Whether it was Saka's corner or the final touch from Gabriel. It is Chelsea nil, Arsenal one. A scoreline which would take Arsenal back to the top of the Premier League. I've heard from Arsenal fans for the last 20 years. Did you sing this when you were a young lad? Did you sing this song? 20 years! 20 years! And now all of a sudden, it's three couple of results together. Won the Champions League this time, by the way. Twice. Ooh. What? What? Yes, I used to sing this. This was, I think this was for the 1970s. I remember playing against Arsenal, final. right? What are you talking about, Chelsea? Perez, Henri, mm. yeah. Burkamp, yeah. Petit, yeah. Yeah. Vieira. Yeah. Ridiculous yeah. team. Yeah. Overmars, Lumberg. Better than this team. Oh, it's better than this team. Sorry, like, yeah. like how, how one of the I, best teams how, ever. Do you know what? Um, this time last year, Chelsea were top of the table. <laughs> oh, that that is interesting. We have got the league table yep. this time last year. Arsenal were fifth. Do you know who was rooted bottom of the table this time last year? After well, after 14 games, not everyone's played the same amount of games because, of course, some games were cancelled after the Queen's death. But 14 games in, all right? 14 games in, no wins, seven draws, seven losses. Goals for 16. Goals are conceded 30. Newcastle. Yeah, I it's remember it. Unbelievable bubble. Different centre half, Kieran mm. Clark, Lascelles, mm. different yeah. centre halves like making mistakes every mm. week, conceding twos and threes. Yeah, but also the club's toxic, wasn't it? With also with with um, with Steve Bruce. Yeah, what well, they twenty points better this season? Twenty points better. By the way, Forest are on ten points. So Forest are even doing better than Newcastle last year. Let's go to the lines. Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. Let's go and speak to Heathrow Rich, one of our favourite callers on the sports bar. Rich, hi, Rich. How you going? Good boys? evening. Right. Did you join that yesterday, Rich? Uh, I'll tell you yeah? what. It, it you're an Arsenal hard. fan yesterday, were you? Not, not, you're not a Brentford fan. i oh, stop it. <laughs> it was hard work. It was hard. I'll tell you what, watching games now, I mean, when you're, when you're struggling in eighth and seventh and all that, you watch games, you just get the, you get the ump. Well, like, I, yeah, like, Chelsea, like Chelsea right now, you mean? Well, yeah, but you watch games like you watch games like yesterday. But it's nice to have that passion and that feeling back again. Dean, I usually like what you got to say, but what you said about Arsenal, why Arsenal can't, doesn't doesn't actually make sense. You haven't made any real sense. You're saying they can't win it, but then you're saying, well, I'm not sure if they will win. It. I'll tell you why we probably won't win it, specifically because of the depth of our squad. Well, how how does it make sense what I've said? I don't think they'll win the league, but they time. could. Can I finish? Can I finish? Oh, you two stop Hang falling on. out. Well, I'm Does just that, saying, Rich, if you're going to say I'm not making sense, I'm just clarifying what I said. Why are you falling out with one another? We're not, but let you me are. finish what I'm saying, and then, and then we Go listen to the rules of the cliches like we heard earlier on. Go on, what? then. What, what I'm saying is, is that the depth of our squad and the experience of our squad, there's two, there's five key players at Arsenal uh, for our spine. And Partey is susceptible to injury. Um, Gabriel has been susceptible to injury. Um, Thomas, Tom, Tommy Asu, another one that gets injured. And if we lose one of our key players, the the the, the whoever comes in for like Nakonga coming in for um, Partey or up front Nikatea, they're just simply not good enough. And I think the Thursday Sunday thing is starting to tell on Arsenal players. They're starting to look a little bit tired. But well, didn't yesterday. That, but, but outside of that, mm. it's a two-horse race. And the reason why Arsenal can win it is because it's only a two-horse race now. To think that we're 15 points clear of Liverpool, to, I think 13 points clear of Chelsea, eight points clear of, of um, Nightall. What hey. are they called? Nightall Tottenham. The ones Rich, that that's spring. more or less what I said. No, what you said was, we won't win it, but we can win it. Yeah, I said, you don't, I don't think you'll win the league for the reasons you've just given. 
Well, OK, well, maybe I'll put it in a different context to you, Dean, and if so, I apologise. But what I'm saying is, is that I think it's possible we could win it because it's a two race, but... I think, I think that's what Dean said, You don't think we... You can. <laughs> no, but he said, we asked, he said categorically Arsenal won't win it. He said, right at the beginning, go back, he said Arsenal won't win it. I don't think we win it, but it's a two-horse race now, and I didn't think... Less that's what I said. Tottenham when, they, when they finished third in the two-horse race. Um, a few years ago. But outside of that, you're right what you say about um, um, Arsenal now. They go into every game thinking they can win it. Mm -hmm. They believe they can win it. They believe in the manager and the process. And who knows? But it's just just great to have an opportunity to be challenging. Do you know what, Rich? He's got control of the team, hasn't he? The manager's got control of the team, and you can see it from a mile off. Yeah. It's took him a while. They they look They look. And they're all on board. There's there's a... There's a just you know you can look at a team and just watch them over ninety minutes in the flesh, different from watching them on telly. I come away yesterday saying that that is a seriously impressive side. Yeah, they're they're top. He's, Rich. he's, com- he's completely got in their nuts now. Yeah. They all know their job. They all believe in what he says, and they all do it. And they're only young, and they've got that youth. They've got that youth about them. That they go out and they think they can win every game. Mm. So while they think that, we've got to think that, and let's see what happens. Cheers for the call, Rich. I think oh, you've you fallen out with Rich. I, yeah, but I think we're both saying the same less thing. said yeah, what I you, said. You did, you did. But, there, there, there's a bit of misunderstanding, but I think we ironed it out at the end. Uh, Let's go, speak to Aaron. 0371 is the number. Aaron the Gooner has found, uh, called. Aaron, good Hi, evening. Aaron. Good evening, how are you? Very, very well. Did you enjoy good. that yesterday? I did indeed, yeah. Mm. I think it's probably the best Arsenal away performance I've seen since we beat Man City in 2015. Jeez. I think. Yeah, seriously impressed with your mob. Um, pains me to say it, but, you know. Who well impressed beat. you the most live? Me, you... Partey. I thought Partey was brilliant. Was he? I thought him, Saliba at the back. Partey, so I don't know whether, whether you noticed it on the telly or not, but it kind of controlled the game, really. And I felt that we, that, that our shape, I thought we could put him under a little bit of pressure, but he found space. I mean, they're all, they're all good, weren't they? I mean, Chelsea's they think, midfield are good, though. But do you know, I do mean, know what? Do you know what? There wasn't that we. I thought Chelsea defended quite well. I don't think we conceded too many chances, other than the goal. The goal was a disaster. Other than that, the goal, both goalkeepers didn't have a huge amount to do. Havertz's but Arsenal, fault, by the way. He is Havertz's Havertz. Fault. He's yeah, in the hole yeah. near post, and he's yeah, missed the yeah. ball. He's run up some for some mm. reason. He's deserted his post. And the ball should never get across the face of the goal like that. That's Aaron, his job. Aaron, go on, mate. You phoned us. We're just chatting over you. Go on. What do you want to say? Uh, I think the last call had pretty much summed it up, and I think you've already summed it up. Um, I think Arsenal are in a title race, but I think come the end of the season, it'll be it'll be Man City lifting the trophy for the reasons everyone's given. I think it mm-hmm. comes down to squad depth. When I called up after the PSV game, where that was a, mm-hmm. an example where where Arsenal have to make changes, it, it, it doesn't doesn't work mm-hmm. as well. But the starting eleven is mm-hmm. going to be strong at the working for. Yeah, well, you're going to go close.